пиздец, магазин ебали, да. Кайф, что ли? Только что. Сюда, походу. Такие у меня выезды. Удар. Хохлы бьют. Вот один. Барак. Не знаю. Мой рост точно. Да не, это прилет чистей. Ну да, да воронка такая. Это не в машине, это прилет был. Ну да. Два удара было, да? Ну говорят, да. Один пристрелит. Пойдем, пойдем. Вот машина. U.S. Secretary of State wants to allow Ukraine to hit Russia with U.S. supplied weapons. The New York Times has reported that the White House is debating whether to allow Ukraine to use U.S. supplied weapons to strike Russian territory, with Secretary of State Antony Blinken urging President Joe Biden to lift the restrictions after a sobering trip to Kyiv. At the initiative of the Department of State, the Biden administration is currently actively debating whether to allow Ukrainians to strike missile launchers and artillery systems located directly near the border on the Russian side. President Volodymyr Zelensky said that these were the targets that had made Moscow's recent territorial gains possible. Blinken's proposal, which he made after a visit to Kyiv last week, is still in its formative stages. The New York Times noted that it was unclear how many of his colleagues in Biden's inner circle had signed up to the idea. Officials said that the document had not yet been formally presented to Biden, who is traditionally the most cautious. State Department spokesman Matthew Miller declined to comment on internal discussions about Ukraine policy, including Blinken's report, after he returned from Kyiv. But officials involved in the discussions said Blinken's position changed as the Russians had launched a new offensive. Russian troops have deployed weapons just across the border from Ukraine's northeast and aimed them at Kharkiv, knowing that Ukrainians would only be able to use non-US drones and other weapons to retaliate. The New York Times pointed out that for the last few months, Ukraine had been stepping up attacks on Russian vessels, oil facilities and power plants, but it had been doing so mostly with domestically produced drones, which did not have the power and speed of American weapons. In addition, the Russians often shoot down Ukrainian drones and missiles or jam them off course through advanced electronic warfare devices. Pressure is now mounting on the United States to help Ukraine strike military targets in Russia, even if Washington wants to maintain its ban on attacking oil refineries and other Russian infrastructure with US-supplied weapons. The New York Times emphasized that the UK, which usually keeps pace with Washington on military strategy, has quietly lifted its own restrictions so that its Storm Shadow cruise missile system could be used to target Russia more broadly. The change, of course, could also affect the future training of Ukrainian soldiers. Until now, they have been training with Western weapons at a training ground in Germany. The US is now also considering sending its military to Ukraine for training, which Biden had previously banned. Ukrainian troops attacked Russian Army's air defense position near the Mospino airport in eastern Donetsk region on Wednesday, a local telegram channel reported. According to the report, the attack was carried out with the use of five Atakms ballistic missiles at around 12.50. The attack inflicted heavy losses on Russian troops. Thus, two S-300, S-400 air defense missile launchers and radar 96L-6E were destroyed. One S-300, S-400 air defense missile launcher was damaged. Ukrainian air defense forces also destroyed the control center of the S-300, S-400 air defense system in the area. 
There are no casualties among personnel of the Ukrainian Defense Forces. It should be noted that according to the information provided by the General Staff of the Ukrainian Armed Forces, Russia lost 1, 3,000 servicemen in the past day. The Ukrainian army destroyed 11 Russian tanks, 27 armored combat vehicles, 40 artillery systems, 1 air defense system, 1 aircraft, 45 UAVs, 1 cruise missile, 71 vehicles and tankers and 4 special equipment between May 22 to 23.